Hi guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a lifestyle and advice YouTuber and today I'll be talking about college advice you need to know, tips, tricks, how to survive, and online school. So stay tuned if you want to hear more about that. One, two, three, let's go! to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Today I'm talking about um, college tips, tricks, how to survive, and advice. So I have written notes written on my phone that I'm gonna just tell you and I want to get to the point quicker because I filmed this before. It just was really really long so let's get to it. First off, advice. Things to bring to college. Definitely bring a raincoat, a jacket of any sort. You're gonna need it but don't bring anything too expensive because it will get lost. Bring waterproof backpack. Definitely recommend if you live in the Pacific Northwest, Northeast, it gets really snowy and rainy. So I recommend that so much. I have the North Face ja jacket, North Face backpack, and I love it so much. And you can probably find them cheap online. Another thing to bring is definitely a lot of storage. You're gonna need storage for your dorm if you're living in a dorm and an apartment if you're going to leave living in an apartment. So definitely invest in some good tubs and little things to put under your bed. And I recommend bed risers because they're usually really nice to lift your bed with. Another thing you need to bring are textbooks. I recommend buying textbooks off of either Amazon or there's this really cool website that I'll try and find and link it up here for you guys that compares all textbooks prices because prices from your school are usually so jacked up so they can make money. Definitely recommend shopping for those on a different website. Now we're going to go with things not to bring to college. Don't bring expensive things to college that you think you're going to lose or be sad if you lose. I definitely don't bring my camera to college that often, so don't bring it with you. I don't recommend bringing any expensive jewelry or things you might lose. I don't bring any of your high school stuff. It's not high school anymore and no one cares where you went. So. Leave the high school stuff at home for the memories and everything. Don't bring anything you're not going to need. If it's like 95% hot during the year, don't bring winter clothes. And also don't bring too many clothes. You're going to have really small storage space for clothes, so bring only the necessities you need. Okay, let's move on to how to survive in college. So I basically have three things on how to survive in college. Those things are study, time management, and friends. And you might be thinking, friends? Really? I don't care about them, but I promise you they're important. First things first, study. Make sure to always start your assignment after you receive it. And I promise you it's gonna save you time, energy, and a lot of stress in the long run. I personally study immediately after I get out of class unless they're back to back. I also recommend doing the 45, 15, 45 method where you study for 45, take a break for 15, and then continue doing the process over again. Definitely recommend it and it saved my life in college. And make sure to start doing this your first year. Another thing to talk about is time management. You are going to need time management in college so badly. You might be doing a lot of things, you might not be doing a lot of things, but I recommend having time management skills so you can get things ready. I personally plan out my planner like every day with things I'm going to do at certain times, but you don't have to be like me and do that. Definitely just have some sort of schedule you want to keep with doing homework, activities, and school so you can be sure to have time to relax and hang out. Lastly, friends. Definitely recommend making friends in college. Even if you're still with your same high school friend group, definitely reach out from that friend group and make friends. They'll help you in classes, hang out with you on the weekend, and even sometimes when introduce you to your soulmate. I wouldn't know. I haven't had a friend introduce me to my soulmate yet. So yeah, I think that covers everything for how to survive in college. So let's move on to myths about college. Okay, first myth about college is college is harder than high school. I promise you, it's really not. It's just that concept that teachers drill into your brain in high school that, oh, your college professor wouldn't let this slide. I promise you, a lot of college professors let things slide, especially at the 300 level. Um, definitely, if you ever need an extension, talk to your professors before the due date. And I mean like before, like at least a couple days or a week before. Not two days, not the day before, not that I know. 
they'll definitely give you a lot of room to wiggle and you know have less stress um also recommend office hours because those are really helpful and i know a lot of teachers don't do those in high school they're a lot more beneficial in college okay. next tip gen eds suck they actually really don't they're helping you become a more like rounder more sensible human being and if you don't know your major or if you're kind of going out of a major and you're realizing you're not liking it they help you really find out things you want to do take for me for example my freshman year i took psychology and i absolutely did not want to have psychology as part of my degree I ended up making it part of my minor so you never know last thing on the miss is that i need to know my major you definitely do not need to know your major going in the college or a first maybe year or two of college you can definitely take gen eds and kind of form a major to yourself if you don't like something and then you end up doing it maybe that should be your major or if you're really natural at something it's good to do that as your major you i recommend going in sometimes with a clean slate or kind of knowing the area you want to be in for your major okay actually i have one last myth is that you can't be a successful athlete and student while playing sports in college that is totally a big myth even from the d1 to d3 level and club and intramural sports it's definitely easy to stay on task and be a good athlete and a good student time management studying and other things really help you with that and if you guys want to see a video specifically on this stuff comment down below okay that's all for myths and let's move on to online college so online college is definitely a lot different than traditional college in-person classes but i promise you there are pros and cons to it. Pros are that you get to be in a more comfortable environment hopefully while studying and not having to be in over a 200 person lecture hall while taking tests. I definitely love having that kind of space for my peers and even though I'm going to be living with people this year still I will have like a comfortable space that I'm happy to be in while taking notes and tests. On a side note to that the accessible education center at your college can also help you if you need anything along the lines of computers, wi-fi, or just books in general so definitely check them out so the next thing i want to talk about definitely some more pros and cons is that some of the pros is that you won't have to really buy textbooks you could probably find a pdf version online or they'll be a lot cheaper since they're an online version of the class so hopefully that will help kind of reduce the costs and another pro is that maybe if you're not living on campus you don't have to pay the huge expense of online not online you won't have to pay the huge expense of campus living. Some of the cons regarding online college is definitely not being able to see a lot of sports games or hang out with your friends. I promise you, hopefully it will get better and you'll get to see football in the spring. Definitely another con is how expensive some textbooks can be. It's kind of a pro and a con. So definitely, again, recommend looking up online versions of your textbooks or the cheaper versions of your textbooks. Um, the last thing I really want to talk about is where college is going. Hopefully by the spring we can be on campus and still have limited activity with people or we'll have full activity but following CDC guidelines. If that doesn't happen, hopefully online will still give us the opportunity to hang out with people and maybe we'll have more things by that spring semester. So that basically covers this entire video. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below and tweet me at David Dobrik. You really don't have to, I promise. And if you guys want to see an intercollegiate um, athlete doing a day in their life, definitely comment down below because I have some fun ideas that I want to kind of put down around. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Bye!